Hi everyone, um, this is the tutorial for the pirate themed folio that I made. There is a walkthrough video um, which you can go back and look at and this is just a tutorial just on how I've put the album together. Um, I won't be decorating it or anything but I can tell you what I did as we go along. So all the measurements will be in the description box when I upload the video so please have a look. And I've pre-cut everything, so everything will just um, go together and I'll show you how I've done it. So first, we've got two pieces that are seven and a half inches by five inches, and I've scored at half an edge on both. These are just going to glue together like that, first of all. So I'm just going to add a line of glue. And then you just want to match that up. And just so it meets the score line, don't go onto the score line. And just press that down. Make sure it folds. And then next piece, or well, next two pieces, is two pieces of card which are five and three quarters by seven inches. And I have scored at five inches and five and a quarter inches to create that fold there. So we've got room to add stuff. So this, these flaps are just going to go on the top here and they should fit perfectly well so I'm just going to glue those on next and again we're just going to line that up to the top making sure it's all even And then just reinforce your folds again so that all matches up lovely and then we're just going to do the same on this side as well so i'm just going to apply some glue Oops. and then it's going to match that up Make sure it's all level and press that down. Again, just reinforce your folds. So that is the basis of our album. So that will fold up, meets in the middle at the top. So, so to add the flap on the front so it, it's another piece of card seven and a half inches by five inches and i've just scored at half an inch and then this is just going to go on here um when i did my original folio i attacked i made it the closure is by magnet um but you can um attach it or use a cl any closure that you would like to so again i'm just going to glue it on glue, use the glue tabs and 
have to snatch it up to the edge, making sure it's all lined up. And glue it down. Uh, there we have our inside front cover. So next, pockets and belly bands. So again, I have pre-cut them. So the first one I'm going to do is the pocket inside the cover. So it measures three and a half inches by six, and I've scored it on three sides, a half an inch. I'm just going to cut out my to the corners. And then we're just going to fold and glue that into place. And it should fit. That's a bit wonky. better so yeah it does fit so we're just going to go on the inside I've put it on the inside cover on the inside of the flap um, but if you wanted it this way you could put it this way if you wanted it over here you could have it over here so um, just put it where you feel you like it the most whoops I don't see so again just going to add glue to all of the glue tabs and stick that into place. So just line up your edges. a bit wonky that's better so it probably would have been a good idea to stick the pocket on before we stuck a flap to the book but it is you can do it it's not too tricky so there we go there we have our inside pocket so next I am going to go inside the book so as soon as we open it up on top of these flaps I have got deep pockets two deep pockets so we have got Two pieces of card cut at six by six and a half inches and you score on three sides, two long sides and one short side. And then the other pockets, two pieces of card again, seven inches by six inches and again score on three edges. So just going to mitre those corners. So I'm just cutting out the corners. So that when we put it in, it all lays nice and flat. So again, we're just going to fold those flaps over.
And again on these. So on my original album, I've done the deep pockets and then I've done just cut these little notches out in the middle. So the punch I used for that was a hunky-dory, um, I think it's an envelope maker, but I don't use it to make envelopes. I'll just use it to round corners and put little inverted pieces on pockets and flaps. Um, so you can do that you, equally. You can use something circular and cut it out by hand. Um, or just don't have to put anything there at all so on the pockets so I'm just going to lay this out so it's flat and then what we're going to do is the biggest pocket will go on first the pockets are all going to face out so I will glue on the first pocket on like this and then we will glue the second one on top so I'm not going to cut out the inverted pieces for this one just going to leave them all straight not sure what I'm going to decorate this one with yet so so I'm just going to add the glue and I'm just going to Line that up again up to the score line, not on the score line. Line it up so it's flat and press down. Don't worry about glue leakage because it'll soon wipe off. And then I'm just going to get one of the smaller ones. And this should fit on top. So this one should go, yep, nice and flat on top. So again, we're just going to add glue to the glue tabs and stick it down. So you should be able to match it up perfectly with the pocket you've already laid down and just press it down until it's tights. And then we're just going to do the same on the other side. So again, just adding glue to the glue tabs and sticking them on. Just lining it up so we are straight. There we go. And again, just pressing it down. And then we're just going to put the smaller pocket on top.
and again just lining it up and sticking it down right so so there we have our pockets on our top flaps so we're going to work inside now so we're just going to lift those flaps up and the first on the top i've put belly bands on mine so that's just two pieces of card i've just used off cuts so you can make them as whatever thickness you like but mine are one and three quarter inches by six inches and i've just scored half an inch at each end so i'm just going to fold those over and again that should fit perfectly and again put it where you want it so you could have it on the side either side or in the middle i might put these to the side on this one so i'm just going to stick these on just again carefully line up I do it by eye, you can measure it. So that's one, and then the other one. And again, just going to line that up top and bottom. I'm just eyeballing it, but feel free to measure. That's about right. Again, we're just going to stick, stick that down and press it till it takes. This one's coming out. And then the last two bits are on the bottom. So I've just put pockets on the bottom. So two pieces of card, eight inches by three and a half inches, and we are scoring at half an inch on the two short sides and the long sides. So again, I'm just going to mite the corners and then they should fit and we can stick those in. I will show you all the pieces that I've made to put in it. Um, I'm not going to make them in this tutorial. If you want me to do a separate video, I can for that. But I just used scraps and just played about with it. Um, cut some tags out with dies, cuts, um, and the other bits I just just um, used off cuts and created little folios and tags with pockets and things. So I will go through them in the video, but I'm not going to make them in this video. Okay, we're just gonna press all our glue tabs over. Just gonna check it fits. Always good to check first before we commit to stick him, which it does. And I'm just gonna add some glue to the glue tabs. And stick that on. Just laying that flat again up to the wrong score line, up to the score line, not on the score line. And just gonna put that on so it's straight. There we go. And I'm just gonna press down the edges. So be careful not to go in the middle where your spine is, which is what I just did. And then we're just going to do the same the other side. So again, I'm just going to add some glue. And just going to stick that down so it's straight. I'm just going to press that down. Now 
and that is it um so the only, only other thing to tell you which i haven't done and i forgot about was on my album so my closure this was inspired um well this whole folio was inspired inspired by another group um called um create with scrimping mummy she's on facebook and does a lot of downloads and things really nice stuff so this was the folio was a, is a similar one to hers um slightly different and the closure is the same so basically all i've done is cut a circle out um put an eyelet in folded it in half and then just stuck half under the pocket and then put the pocket and the patterned paper over the top and then i can and then i'm using string to tie my folio together so everything's not falling out so i'll quickly go through what i've put through it in it so on the front cover um so i also use seal wax uh, wax seals so i purchased these cheaply off various websites um and then just put my string in and melt with the wax seal over the top um, and i think they look really cool um so on my first inside pocket this is just various ephemera that come with the kit i used um it is mr b's originals i believe um pirate themed kit very nice it was on creating craft recently but she does they do have a website as well so i just backed some of the elements onto black card and then put them in the pocket and then when we open it i've got two tags so i've just used a metal die to cut my tags out covered them both added string and a wax seal and then on the inlet smaller pocket i've just used a bit of off cut card to create this little folio so i can tell you the measurements so it is uh, four and three quarters wide by just shy of 12 inches and then fold in half and just slot those in so i've done one each side for those on the inside under the belly band again i've just cut a tag with a metal die and then i've just made a pocket just measured and made a pocket again used my little punch to create a notch and just backed some ephemera and put it in and then this one again this was uh, just a bit of scrap card that i used just folded it in half rounded the corners added my paper i can tell you the measurements for that are two just uh, where are we just over two and a half inches so it'll be just over five inches in total if we open it out let me just measure that was five and a quarter inches five and a quarter inches fold it in half by five and three quarter inches and then this inside one here so this is just um again scrap card it is kept close with the magnet so just opens up and then i've just got a pocket here again with ephemera added and then i've just put a pocket at the top here and added again back to the ephemera and added it so i can tell you so to make this the base the base was five and a half inches by three and three quarter inches and then i added a flap which is so it would be three and a half inches score a half an inch join it onto here so it folds over and then the pockets again i just measured and measured the card and used the notches on my punch so on that shot to create those pockets and then the last little thing that i put in was just this um this is just wrapped again with a wax seal new toy so i've used it a lot and again i've just used the string to tie it closed and it's a bit like um a little match box uh, match stick card i suppose so again i've just used off cuts to make it so what i did to th for this is 
cut out a piece of card that was just uh, just shy of six inches by two and a half inches and I have scored at two and a half and one inch and again rounded the corners added an eyelet and folded it up and tied it together with the string so I hope that's helpful and I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have any questions or anything just please ask um, and I will aim to do another I'm going to start making another album in the next week so I will video it and get a tutorial up thank you for watching bye